Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tabitha and I share videos on crafts, tutorials, and more about my small business. Almost exactly two years ago, I opened up my shop and it all started with stickers. So if you're watching this video, maybe one of your goals for 2024 is to open up a sticker business. So I'm gonna share the seven steps that I took and some things that I've learned along the way. I hope you find this video helpful and let's go ahead and get into step number one. So the first thing you wanna do is start working on your art. If you're going to be using an iPad, I highly recommend Procreate. It is a one-time cost and it's beginner friendly. So I started drawing digitally two years before I ever opened up my shop. I got this iPad Air for Christmas in 2019 and then the following January, I downloaded Procreate and started playing with digital art. Over those two years, I improved and developed my style. Then in January of 2022, I thought it'd be fun to turn my art into stickers so once you're happy with your art, it's time to officially start your shop and come up with your name. I recommend that your shop ties into what you're making or your style, but you also want to make sure that no one else has that name already. So do a quick search on Google and also search on social media. Then you can go ahead and register it with your state. Once you've come up with your shop name, it's time to create a social media. One of the reasons why I recommend researching and registering your business name is so when you do create a social media, you won't have to change it later on if someone already has that name. But I recommend starting a social media pretty early on so you can start building your audience so when you do open up a shop, you already have a following. This is something that I wish I would have done a lot sooner as I didn't start taking social media seriously until almost a year in. Step four is all the fun legal stuff. I won't go too far into this as I'm not a professional, but I would do a quick search on how to start a business in your state. I went ahead and did all of this while I was registering my business name, but there are a lot of sites that walk you step by step. Step five is time to invest in actually creating the sticker. If you're going to be making handmade stickers, you'll either use your iPad or computer. Of course, you'll need sticker paper. You can either use matte or glossy. Then laminate, this is optional, but I do recommend it so your stickers are more durable. If you're using thermal laminate, you'll need a laminator, a decent printer, and then either a Cricut or a Silhouette. If you don't wanna make handmade stickers, you can outsource them as well through sticker manufacturers. Just do a quick Google search and there are a bunch that you can find. You'll just send your art to them and then they'll create the sticker for you. But either way, you're going to need shipping supplies. So these are shipping labels. This one is for my thermal label printer, but I first started out just printing off the labels. If you're not gonna be shipping with tracking, you can just simply use stamps. You'll also need packing supplies, so envelopes or bubble mailers. But if you're making handmade stickers, step six is to practice. The last thing you wanna do is open up a shop and you have no idea how to make the sticker. I have a full sticker making tutorial over on my channel, but definitely practice a bunch before you open up your shop, which leads me into step number seven. Once you've completed steps one through six, it's officially time to open up your shop. I recommend starting with Etsy. It's where I started and it's a great place to get the hang of packing and shipping orders. And then once you've grown an audience online, you can go ahead and open up your own website. With your own website, you will have to drive your own traffic. So that's why I suggest waiting until you already kind of have a following. But once you have your shop and you've established your brand, you can start doing other things like pop-ups and TikTok shop. There are lots of different options, but one of my favorites is selling wholesale. So this is where you sell your stickers at a wholesale price, which is usually about half of the retail price. And then stores across the country can then purchase from you and sell them in their store. This is a really cool way to get your stickers out there and into physical locations, which is pretty cool. One of my favorite sites is Fair. It's easy to use, you can set minimums, and it's a great place to start. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video encouraged you to start your sticker business in 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.